안녕하세요 여러분 그동안 잘 지내셨어요? 분. Learning a foreign language requires a lot of dedication, effort and perseverance and it's a long journey. So I sincerely hope that you are learning well. And at this stage of learning, even if you are facing some problems, don't worry, just practice some more. 그럼 다시 한번 항상 열심히 공부하십시오. 화이팅! 안녕하세요 여러분 and welcome to the lesson 43 of Hello Korean. As we can see on this screen, we are going to learn a new grammar that is unika for expressing reasons. See the learning objectives here. First is to learn the grammar unika to express the reason. Number two, to understand grammar usage restrictions. That is the main point. And see the remarks. Unika has another usage as a discovery that is phalgeon. In this lesson, we are learning as reason only, that is EU. Clear your open? Next. See this conversation between Kha and Na. Kha, Sujin Shi, Onal Chonyoge Mannal Kayo. Miss Sujin, shall we meet today evening? Then Sujin Shi replied, Mia Neo. Onaran, Shigani Opsunika, Nail Mannayo. So, in this second se sentence, in the red circle, we can see this grammar unika, which is attached with opta. And if we see the English sentence, the similar meaning is coming so. Again, mian heo o naran shigani opsunika nail mannayo. So, you can see how it is used to express the reason. Now, this is the grammar meaning. Grammar unica is attached with a verb, adjective or noun, indicating that the action, activity or state in the first part of the sentence, that is the first clause, is the reason for the second part of the sentence. First part is the reason for the second part of the sentence. And the similar English meaning is so, therefore, since, because of. Next, this is the main point of this grammar. As you already know, we have completed one more grammar to express the reason that is asa also. This is the second one and there will be few more to express the reason in Korean language. So, whenever this grammars we are learning there are always some main points some restrictions are there so for the unica see point number one it can only be used with imperative or proposal sentence endings like suggestions proposals requests commands or orders some example of these sentence endings are ayo oyo upshida useyo ulkayo ulleyo with these kind of sentence ending, we use this grammar. And second point is, it can be conjugated with past tense markers, that is, ak, ok, or het. Clear, Yoruban? This point is very important. Only and only for the imperative sentences, suggestion, order, proposal, or command sentences. Nah. Let's move to the next point now. Now, coming to the explanation, see here first sentence, Onaran Shigani Opsunika Nail Mannayo. I don't have time today, so see you tomorrow. If we see this sentence is part of two sentences, two separate sentences, how? First, see the Unika grammar with the Opta and now let's do the analysis of this sentence. First sentence is Onaran Shigani Opsoyo. Second sentence, Nail Mannayo. How we can use grammar Unika? See the second step now. Onaran Shigani Opsoyo, Nail Mannayo. Two separate sentences, how they can be connected to express the reason 
by using the grammar ek unika is like this please see this structure carefully two separate sentences in the middle unika first sentence is the reason for the second part of the sentence now it will be changed to owner and shigani option ikka nail mannayo if you are able to understand this structure this grammar is clear now owner and shigani option ikka nail mannayo in the same way see one more example number 2 nal shiga chho nikka kachi sanche khal kayo since the weather is nice shall we go for a walk together find out where is unika grammar that is here and what is similar english meaning is coming since and this sentence is also having the two separate sentences which are connected with unika how see the first line nal shiga chho ayo this is the first sentence second is kachi sanche khal kayo now divide them into two parts and add unika in between like this now can you connect these two sentences with unika grammar to express the reason in the first part try hasa yoroban ne chare soyo number 3 will be nalshiga chu nikka kachi sanche khal kayo since the weather is nice shall we go for a walk together can you find out unika meaning is coming as since to express the reason clear everyone next for the conjugation rules it can be attached with all three nouns verbs or adjectives noun with only predicate ida form now see the conjugation rules first rule is verb or adjective when there is no pachim or la pachim add nikka c number 1 khada no pachim add nikka it will be kha nikka number 2 mannada number 3 phew nikka number 4 humbu ha nikka and number 5 be alert la pachim is there this we have already completed irregular conjugation now can you please tell me what will happen here it will be man man do nikka la pachim will be dropped number 6 hapuda will be hapu nikka come to the second group with pachim c number 1 mokta mokta will be mogu nikka number 2 ibu nikka number 3 again ditta irregular conjugation please tell me ibu nikka or ne majayo duru nikka number 4 ikta will be ilgu nikka number 5 mantha will be manu nikka number 6 chupta will be chu nikka like this please make this table in your notes and do the practice of conjugation so no pachim la pachim nikka and all other pachim u nikka this group is clear one more time let's summarize the irregular conjugation examples See root form is nakta. With the nakta sa pachim, what will happen? It will be na unika. Sa will be dropped, and still we have to add unika. Number two, haru unika. Can you tell me number three? Thopta. Majayo. Tha unika. Salda stanika. Krotha kronika. and last two are having the regular conjugation koruda will be koru nikka and appuda will be appu nikka clear your open now next part is with the nouns see here we can see the root form of the nouns as chek sengil hak seng chingu hakyo but we cannot add nikka grammar directly with the nouns we can only add with the predicate predicate will be chek will be chek ida Single will be single ida. So first step, what we have to do? We have to delete this da with the noun predicate form with bachim, no bachim, add nikka only. So chek will be chegi nikka. Single will be single e nikka. Hak seng hak seng e nikka. 
chingu inika and last one is hakyo inika so you have to make this table your open for the practice so we hope now conjugation is clear now let's move to the sentence card we have to make this sentence by using the grammar unika with the second part of the sentence c number 1 phiga oda plus unika and the second part is usanal khaji ko khaseyo how you will do the conjugation remove the add unika with the oda it will be phiga try haseyo phiga onika usanal khaji ko khaseyo Niga o nika usanal khaji go khaseyo. See next example. Can you do this? Please try your own. Onaran phigon hada plus o nika nail manapshida. Onaran onaran phi phigon ha nika nail manapshida. Can you make these type of sentences now? and you can see english meanings are coming because because or so and this is the main point of this grammar see with the onika grammar sentence ending in the first sentence is khaseyo khaseyo meaning is please go number two sentence manapshida let's meet so ending is command sentences suggestion sentences or proposal sentences this combination must be fulfilled when we are using unika grammar to express the reason this point is clear or not your open yes this is the main point of this grammar so next now some examples are here number 1 kiri makhi nika chia choral thal kayo keep your eyes on the sentence ending and find out it is suggestion order proposal or command sentences or not number 2 nalshi ga chune ka phake nagaji maseyo number 3 e shiktangi nomu pissa nikka haren shiktangru khapshida now again check the combination with the nikka grammar to express the reason ending is suggestion order proposal or command in number 1 that is thal kayo shall we ride shall we board shall we take number 2 nagaji maseyo please don't go outside and number 3 khapshida let's go ne chare so yo roman let's move to the next examples number 4 chanan haksang e nikka harinal chum chuseyo this example is with the noun predicate form is haksang ida add nika here chanan haksang e nika harinal chum chuseyo i am a student so please give me a discount please give me yes you can see clear your own number 5 chanan hal moru nika tharan saramege muroboseyo i don't know well so please ask someone else please give please ask number 6 onal khumbural mani hasnika ije chube khaso phuk shuseyo now see the nika in the center of the sentence and check the endings number 4 chuseyo please give number 5 murobosayo please ask number 6 shuseyo please take rest ERL has so your own. Ne, chare samne da. Let's move to the next part. Practice. There are three sentences. You have to complete these sentences with the vocabulary given in the bracket in the blue color by adding the grammar unika. C number one. Naam de mun shi jangi blank. Naam de mun shi jangi so sa seyo. Please see the bracket. Here vocabulary is sada to be cheap to be inexpensive. plus grammar unika so it will be sanika in the same way please do number 2 and number 3 in number 2 khamgi a khamgi meaning is cold kholyakta past tense form is there plus unika khamgi a kholyasnika onaran phu shuseyo 
खामगी एक हल्यसनिका ओनरन भूख शुसे नंबर थ्री विद द नाउन प्रेडिकेट फॉर्म सेंगिलिदा प्लीज निक्का सेंगेरी निक्का के इकरल साचुसेयो क्लियर योर ओबन कैन यू मेक दिस काइंड ऑफ सेंटेंसेस नहीं चार है सोयो नेक्स्ट सी अगेन द एंडिंग्स कमांड सजेशन प्रपोजल सेंटेंसेस ओनली नहीं ओके दिस इज फॉर द रेफरेंस एंड दिस इज द very very important part of this grammar unika when we are using to express the reason it cannot be used for personal sentences for expressing greetings and personal emotions like phangapta komapta kamsahada mianhada chesonghada you know one sentence very well your open manna sa phanga voyo manna sa phangap samnida I am glad because I met you. So, in this sentence, if we use nikka to express the reason, manna nikka, manna sa nikka, pangap sam nida. This is a personal, but greetings, emotions. So we cannot use nikka here. See number two sentence, manna sa pangap sam nida. We can use here also also grammars, also also grammar to express the. reason for conveying my greetings my personal emotions this is very important point please make special notes for this okay one more time unika grammar cannot be used for greetings and personal emotions like phangapta komapta khamsahada mianhada chesonghada and you have to memorize one sentence number 2 manna sa phangap samnida Clear your own. Char is so yo. Next point. This is one activity. Please find out the correct sentences. Number one is no just so nika mian ham nida. Number two and number three. How you have to check? First check. The ending is suggestion, order, proposal, or command. Is there or not? Number two. Is it personal statement or emotion? And then check the conjugation. and check first part is the reason for the second part of the sentence or not in this sequence you have to find out the correct sentences take your time pause the screen and find out chhara soyo robun tell me number 1 is right or wrong ne chhara soyo number 1 is wrong number 2 and number 3 are right can you tell me why number 1 is wrong yes Mian ham nida. I am sorry. That is a personal statement. Emotions. So we cannot use nika here. If you are able to find out the correct sentences in these three sentences, now you know this grammar very well, your own. Charis soyo. Come samida. Next. Now, unika grammar learning can only be completed after understanding the difference between the asa also reason. which is which we have completed in lesson 32 and this grammar unika why english translation of both the sentences will come both the grammars will come because so therefore then what is the difference so we are going to cover this difference in details in the next lesson so please don't forget to watch it and uh, now the last it is time to wrap up Unika grammar we have completed to express the reason. See the first point. It is attached with a verb, adjective, or noun indicating that uh, the action, activity, or state in the first part of the sentence is the reason for the second part of the sentence. Next point, similar English meaning. So, therefore, since or because of. Number three, it can only be used with the imperative or the proposal sentences like the suggestion, proposal, request, or command. Or orders. Clear, your open. Number three point is very very important. Please memorize it. Next point number four for the conjugation. C four point one. When a verb or an adjective stem is ends in a vowel or la pachin, add nikka. Four point two. Two nikka. And in 4.3 with the noun predicate form, you have to add just nika. 
there is a pachim, there is a no pachim, doesn't matter with the noun predicate form. Now, last point is very important, Yorobun again. It cannot be used for personal sentences for expressing greetings or emotions. Clear? Charest so, Yorobun. Kamsagida. See you in the next le uh, lesson for the Munpak Chai Asa Asa versus Unika. Anyongi Keshipshio, Hame, Helpful.